peace and blessings, everyone. So I was watching the amazing race this evening. You know, and, um, for those who are familiar with it, they were doing a, a roadblock. I guess it was a roadblock. Yeah, well, doing the one where only one person could uh, do the task. And so one of the, uh, the men on it, one of the gentlemen, he had to wait for the wind to die down so he could uh, parasail down a hill. And he, and he made a statement that he would pray or ask for God to stop the wind, but God has more important issues to deal with. And it, it made me think, it made me think and ponder and wonder that what if there was something to that? That with all the prayer wishes and pleading that come in from around the world, that there could be, um, you could basically tie up God, God's line. You know, like everybody calling to 911, tying up the line for somebody to get through. Somebody who, who's is more serious than what it is you're praying for. Praying to win a game, praying to win some money, you know, praying for some luck, gambling things of that nature, whereas you have people who are praying for food, praying for the life of their starving child, praying that they are found uh, by authority or something, someone who has been kidnapped, somebody who is being tortured. So I was wondering, you know, what if there was, you know, that one line of God and it's being tied up? And thus, that's why there are so many prayers that go unanswered, why there's so much pain and suffering. Uh, in this world and then also maybe you know another aspect is that when you pray for yourself it can actually uh, fall into um, a battle um, I can't think of the word of course um, where you are praying against another person's prayers, right? Well, you're praying for something that there may not be enough of to go around. And so you're praying for it for you. Another person is praying for it for them. Uh, there's not enough to go around. So either one person get it and another person goes without, or you both will get a smaller amount because you're thinking about yourself. Take, for instance, if you know, everybody basically prays for money. Uh, so, if everybody prayed to be a billionaire, it couldn't happen. It couldn't happen. It it literally couldn't happen because it's it's not within the system to allow it. So everybody could pray for it, but only a few will get it. There will be some billionaires. There will be some millionaires. There would be some, you know, upper class, and then, you know, it goes on down. But it's not to go around it, although everyone can pray for it. But once again, it's because everyone is praying for themselves. Whereas if we thought about others, if we pray for the welfare of others, for the welfare of the world, it would be different. It's like instead of praying for yourself getting the money, if everyone gave up money to give to someone else and what would happen is if everyone gave up money and put in a pile and say it's for someone else and everyone did it eventually no one will have money and we will see that it is not necessary to have money but once again it will take thinking of others instead of thinking of ourselves first in the book series the secret and the law of attraction they deal with the power of the individual to affect their world, their surroundings, and what happens to them. Uh, I haven't read a secret, but I've heard that the secret deals more with getting wealth, you know, being able to get money. Whereas a lot of attraction, it just deals with being happy, uh, you know, uh, having a positive effect and outcome on your life by 
thinking in positive ways, things of that nature. And 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 one specific point in the law of attraction, it says that people's lives don't have effects on other people's lives. So what you bring into your life, if you bring in positivity, someone else's someone else's negativity can't impede on your your life. And thus when you have negative things that happen to you, it's because you have brought it into your life in some manner. Whether thinking about it directly or in trying not to think about it and hoping and wishing that it doesn't happen, that it, it sets in your mind negativity and thus you bring it to you. Um, so in dealing with, you know, what I'm saying in this video, you know, maybe that's not true. Maybe the fact that once you start thinking about yourself and, and asking for yourself, that it can impede on someone else's life um, because we're all one. Thus, when I ask for something for myself, it might take away from another, something that could be available for another. And as long as we stay in a mindset of thinking individually and thinking for each other, thinking of only ourselves and looking out for only ourselves, we will take away from others, take away the natural resources, take away the happiness, take away the things that are missing in many people's lives that some people have and some don't. Once we stop that, stop thinking by ourselves and start thinking on a whole that the world has won and start looking and asking for the world as one, then everything that can happen will happen. Everything that is available to us will come to us. All good will come to us. Happiness will come to us. But that entails us thinking as one, thinking about the other, loving each other. Um, so just something to thinking about, think about. And I'm still trying to think of that word, um, battle. That's it. God bless everyone. Peace and love.